Hello, friends. Thanks so much for joining me on another interview. I've caught up with Mr. Greg Brower. He used to work for the Department of Justice. <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to come on with me. You know, we, we've got some issues here in America. We've got, we've got organized crime. We've, uh, we've got terrorism. And, of course, the big one, online gaming and sports betting, right? So, you know, the DOJ, I think most people are caught up on, on where we are in regard to uh, the DOJ's new opinion on the WIRE Act and what it could mean for our industry. But we just finished a panel session in here, and uh, you had some interesting insights to, to that about where we are right now and where we could be in just, you know, a few months. Well, in a nutshell, that's right. There was a, a DOJ opinion back in 2011 that essentially um, uh, interpreted the, the so-called WIRE Act as prohibited o prohibiting only uh, Internet um, sports betting. Um, in 2018, the DOJ uh, issued a different opinion, essentially reversing the 2011 opinion, uh, this time opining that the Wire Act prohibits all forms of internet betting, not just sports betting. Uh, the New Hampshire Lottery challenged that interpretation in a legal case and won in the federal district court. The DOJ has now appealed that. So as of now, the 2018 opinion is essentially null and void pending the outcome of this appeal. So we're back to the 2011 opinion, which is that the Wire Act prohibits only sports betting on an interstate basis. Okay, well, that's all fine and dandy. Things are moving forward, but, uh, you know, it's still pending that the DOJ could come back and, and actually prevail in this, although I think most people in the, uh, the session agreed that was kind of a long shot. Uh, but even if they, they were to be successful, w am I right in thinking that you were not of the opinion that they would be enthusiastic about prosecuting cases under the, the Wire Act when it comes to online gaming? Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to predict what any particular DOJ um, will do. Uh, it depends on the current leadership of the DOJ, and, um, and that's driven largely from the current presidential administration. I think most observers, though, and most DOJ veterans would find it hard to believe that DOJ would make um, it a priority to go after otherwise legal internet gaming operators just because of this uh, revised opinion about what the Wire Act says. Ultimately, of course, uh, it should be up to Congress to clarify all this, but as I suggested during the panel, you know, getting Congress to do anything is, is not easy these days. All right, and, and finally, uh, you had mentioned that uh, the DOJ was actually readdressing this. They're kind of looking at it, their office of, of legal counsel that, that issued the 2018 reversal of the reversal of the opinion <laughs> is kind of reexamining this post-New Hampshire court case loss. And there's actually a chance, do you think there's a realistic chance that they could come back and say, you know what, we're just going to let this go and not even fight it? I think the more realistic chance is that this first appeal will be briefed and argued, and if the First Circuit Court of Appeals finds in favor of the New Hampshire lottery, especially if a, it, it will be a three-judge panel that hears the argument, if all three judges agree that New Hampshire is right and DOJ is wrong, I think DOJ is essentially going to have to retreat and come up with a new game plan uh, because getting the Supreme Court of the United States to review that will be um, difficult for the department. And so, I, but I think until the current appeal is fully briefed and then argued and decided, uh, we won't see DOJ take a different course. So if DOJ wins, do you think this escalates to the Supreme Court at some point? If DOJ is able to get the First Circuit to reverse the New Hampshire District Court, I, I, I have to believe that the New Hampshire lottery uh, will seek Supreme Court review and the litigation will continue. Yeah. It's going to be interesting times. But thank you so much for coming on and giving us that update, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you.